Welcome to the Gary Cantrell Podcast. Hope you guys are having a great day, a great week. I know it's been well, it's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, done just kind of like a solo podcast without a huge theme, but I'm back today with a theme. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to, you know, it's always tough when you're trying to figure out like, you know, your audience. Like, I feel like I know the audience, but sometimes I don't always know what you guys want in terms of if you guys like the more like straight theme, like the 10 years in podcasting, seven years in bands, or if you just want me to cut on the mic and hang out, cause I can do both. I like to do both. Um, Today's theme of the podcast is going to be five things I want to accomplish in 2018. Five things I want to accomplish in 2018. Before I start that, just very quickly, just want to remind you that I have an Amazon link at garyspodcast.com slash Amazon. Anything you buy goes to me. If you want to support the show, um, they kick back a few pennies. So, um, yeah, that's it. No big, long beat you over the head with it, plug right to the content. I I like to make it quick. So five things I want to do in 2018. Boy, where do you start? One of the things that I notice, um, well, first of all, I decided to do this now in the first week of December, as opposed to the end of December, right when everybody is, you know, kind of like checked out for the year. Uh, you know, we're all in holiday mode and I don't even know if there'll be podcasts on those weeks where there's holidays. I haven't decided yet, but I can tell you that I wanted to put this out now because I feel like we should probably all be thinking about next year. And after the year I've had, I'm crazy excited for next year. And that's why I decided that I was going to set five goals of things to do in 2018. And this list may not seem so extreme to everybody, but what I found is that you should set goals that you have every intention of trying to accomplish as opposed to setting you know, five things that are damn near impossible that look good on a list but are unachievable. So... I want you guys to follow along at home. And I've already gotten some love because I put it out on Instagram, but send me a DM at Gary Cantrell. Let me know what your five are. I'm curious. I've already got some people that have sent me their list, and I'm thrilled that they've sent me their list. I greatly appreciate it. Um, now, when I start my five here, these are in no specific order. And the goal of these five goals to accomplish in in 2018 they're you know they're smaller achievable goals but they're also goals that lead that that you know lead me on to bigger things to better things they are a gateway into new horizons essentially in life like trying something completely different that I had never done before to build me into a stronger me going forward. So anyway, I'm almost four minutes in trying to explain my list without even telling you the first thing. So I'm just going to shut up now and get to the list because I can imagine there's probably at least one or two of you that's like, all right, Gary, get to the point. And again, they're in no specific order. Item number one has to do with this very podcast. I want to travel next year somewhere it could be one state over two or three states over i want to travel to interview one of you for the podcast um you know i've been doing these in instagram interviews and i did one with sheila last week and i realized how much fun it was to meet sheila to look at her face to face and have such a deep, meaningful conversation. I thought that, you know, that podcast was one of the better Instagram interview podcasts because I had this person who inspires me. 
She says, I inspire her. It's a mutual inspiration. And we're able to see each other face to face and talk about it. I love that. I mean, there's so much value in that. So I want to take it one step further in 2018. And I want to talk to one of you, but I want to travel to your hometown and meet you and interview you. Because I think the journey getting to you, that's there's something in that. People will, will want to watch, oh, you know, Gary's getting there. He's going to interview them. So I want to travel somewhere in 2018 to talk to one of you. I'm excited. I'm already excited. I got goosebumps just thinking about it because I'm like, this is going to be really awesome. And... It's, it's it's a path to bigger and better things in the sense of my end goal ultimately is eventually, you know, I've been working on a book. I want to eventually get into the public speaking realm. I want to meet as many people as I possibly can so that I can, um, you know, help people. I know there's people out there that are like me, that think like me, that are think, that think like I used to, where I used to think there's no... There's no winning. There's no getting to your goals. And I'm here to say, dude, I, I'm i smashing goals now. Like, life's completely different. And a comfort zone for me has always been uh, how I interact around people. I've always been a little bit reserved. Um, and so I want to get out of that comfort zone. And, and that... It's not to say, I mean, like, I can get around people and be okay, but I'm going to be, like, super freaking shy is really what it comes down to. So, yeah, I, I want to I want to meet as many people as possible. And preferably, if I can meet a lot of people in 2018, I want to do it. But, again, setting a realistic goal, I want to interview one person from my Instagram where I travel to them to conduct the interview. And I think that'll be awesome. Item number two. I want to relaunch and provide content on my YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube, like any other social platform, is oversaturated with content. And you might say, well, geez, Gary, that's a that's a waste of your time. You're just going to get lost in the shuffle. You may be right. But I believe that there could be people similar to the people I've met on Instagram that are looking for help, they don't know where to start, and they might find the same value that others have found in my Instagram just on a longer form kind of, uh, you know, platform. Now, right now, my YouTube channel, if you look up Gary Cantrell, it's sad I don't even know the URL for my YouTube. I have no freaking clue what it is. I, I mean, if you type in Gary Cantrell and you see the picture, I believe it's the same exact picture as my Instagram. And that's me. And what you'll find on this YouTube channel is, number one, all my podcast. So my podcasting host provider creates a video automatically of every podcast. Now... I don't want to get you too excited because it's not a video of me talking. It's not a video of like me sitting wherever I record the podcast and talking. It's just the audio with a blank screen and that's all it is. But there are people that find that and and they find value in it. So I think it's great. I think there's a reason to do it and it's automatic. So there's not much that I have to do for it. Um, Other than that, there are some old concerts that I attended a couple are me a couple are other people and I I I got this like VCR adapter for my computer and I started copying over old VHS tapes so I I thought it was very important to uh upload some of those I thought that was cool and then finally uh, other well there's like one or two unboxings but then there's also um a couple of uh, what were the early weight loss vlogs. And I don't know if you could really call them vlogs because, you know, when I think of a vlog, I think of like Casey Neistat or somebody like that who's just absolutely slaying YouTube, making high-quality stuff. 
I'm not going to be able to do that right off the bat. I can promise you that. I'd love to work towards making something similar of high quality, but I mean, I'm obviously I'm not going to be Casey Neistat. That guy's got years and years of experience, but it's something to look forward to. Or, or Gary V, who's crushing it on his uh, vlogs. Now, my vlog, uh, the vlogs that are on there now are just kind of like you know, three to seven minutes of me talking about my week. Uh, working out and, and how all that kind of looks. And I mean, I, I, I think for those of you that have just met me like on Instagram in the last like month, two, three, and you don't know Gary from, you know, the first couple of months of his weight loss, you might find some interest in that. Um, so definitely check it out if, if it's something that interests you. Um, but I would encourage you now get on the ground floor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, look me up, and uh, subscribe now because in 2018, I'm revving this thing back up and I'm going to start providing content again. I never realized how freaking powerful the phone is as a video camera. I know I'm, I'm still slowly understanding the power of your phone in general and the kind of, uh, you know how you can tell your story through that device. We all have them. We're always on them. So it's time to utilize it even more. I mean, I use it for Instagram and I would, and I would say that I, I think I do well on there. I think I've grasped it. Um, so now I want to tackle YouTube. That's the next big thing that I want to tackle social media wise and just providing Maybe maybe for now a weekly video or two times a week. I don't know what it's going to be yet. But it's going to be at least once a week. I can tell you that. So I just need to figure out what the format is. I know I know what the content is. It's going to be my weight loss. It's going to be my life. It's going to be almost like my podcast but on video. So 2018, look me up on YouTube, Gary Cantrell. It might be official Gary Cantrell or Gary Cantrell official maybe. Might be one of those. Check that out. Um, my old Gmail was like gcantrell82, so it might be under there as well. So look me up, people. Subscribe to me on YouTube. It's coming in 2018. Number three. I just mentioned in my YouTube about how watching guys like Casey Neistat and Gary V are, you know, these are guys that I watch on YouTube. Gary V has been a huge inspiration to me as he has been to countless thousands, probably tens of thousands of other people, if not hundreds of thousands of other people. Um, so goal number three is to have a meeting with Gary Vaynerchuk before the end of 2018. I saw a video. I don't remember. I think it was planet of the apps where I saw Gary V for the very first time. I, I feel confident that I probably have seen his name floating around once or twice before that but I saw him on Planet of the Apps and I was kind of interested in you know who this guy was because obviously as he kind of jokes in some of his vlogs whenever he's talking about Planet of the Apps you have like all these famous people and then you have me and I, I kind of had that mentality like well who the hell is Gary Vaynerchuk like <laughs> who is this guy I don't know who this guy is and so I looked him up, and one of the first videos, now, again, if you go to YouTube and look up Gary V-E-E, -E, you'll see all of his uh, vlogs. He's got, like, a couple hundred of them, okay? One of the first videos I stumbled across was a video called A Five-Minute Plea to Do. And I cannot really put into words just how freaking captivated, how inspired how intrigued I was by this person and the things that were coming out of his mouth. And so I started to dive deeper into Gary Vaynerchuk's content. And then the things like, uh, as he, the phrases he coins, like document over create that one for me changed everything. I realized that this journey I was on, I needed to start telling people about it. I needed to start sharing it. And granted, if I, you know, if I were to take a meeting with him tomorrow, he would probably look at me right now and say, dude, 
you got to step your shit up. And so YouTube is one of those things that I'm getting ready to step up. And, you know, he's very much a proponent of being on every social platform, which I am. I just don't use them all to my fullest ability. But I, in 2018, I want to meet this person who has changed my life more than more than he'll know um, to where now I'm documenting my entire weight loss journey. This is something that is keeping me accountable, keeping me motivated, keeping me going, just like a part of all of you that listen, especially those on Instagram, keep me going. And I just want to meet him and, number one, thank him, be able to look him in his eye, shake his hand, and thank him for waking me up to the document over create thing because that was huge and the five minute plea to do and um, so one day I want to meet Gary Vaynerchuk and uh, thank him but then also maybe have a, a, a discussion about where I'm kind of at and, and, and what he thinks I can improve upon because I really really value his opinion as he has been so successful at just about everything he's freaking done. Um, so I definitely want to meet Gary and, and talk to him. So there's item number three. Item number four. I want to participate in a 5K. I've been thinking about this one for a while. And I kind of loosely set this goal when I first started. But I didn't put a time limit on it. I don't like to put a time limit on a lot of things. I think you guys will learn that. That's why this 28 thing, 2018 thing is actually pretty big because I normally don't put time limits on anything. Um, but I want to participate in a 5K. And I'm not saying I have to run the whole thing. But I want to at least walk, jog, run a 5K, walk across the finish line, snap a selfie for my people on Instagram, to show them that, hey, I did it. I want to participate in a 5K because I think it'll be a gateway to something bigger, perhaps, uh, to strive more in my fitness goals to maybe eventually compete in more of these things. I don't know. Right now, as I look at it, I think it's probably a one and done, but I'm not completely... uh, you know, thinking that I'm never going to do another one after I do the first one. So I think it'll be a great fitness goal. I think it'll be something that it'll really give me an extra oomph to push harder. Because as it stands right now, my cardio is vastly improved in the last year, obviously, but I think there's room for it to get better. And so I think that if I had the motivation to train for something like a 5K, I really believe that I could take it to a whole new level, and I think that would be awesome. So, participate in a 5K before the end of 2018. Goal number four. That brings us to goal number five. I saved this one for last, even though I would argue that all of these are equal to me. But this one is probably the most ambitious for me. Um, And maybe it's a little more closer to one of those kind of goals that you throw on a list that looks fancy, but maybe you're never going to do. But the only difference is I will do it. I want to jump out of an airplane next year. You know... I kind of look at this whole journey like like a skydiving, like jumping out of a plane. Like, here I was before I got started, scared, unsure, unmotivated. And then I started this journey, and, and it's turned my life upside down in the best way possible. And so... I just, hmm, I think about something that terrifies me. I don't know if you guys remember where I posted about jumping out of my comfort zone. This was probably a month ago now. Jumping out of my comfort zone. 
And that was when I was at the trampoline park. Now, it may seem simple to a lot of people, but for me, who's been overweight most of my life, you know, I used to look at family and friends who would uh, go to these parks, and I used to think, man, I'd love to go there one day. And then the realization kept hitting me, Gary, you're, you're too big for that. Number one, you're probably not going to be able to handle it. Number two, you might break something. Then they're going to sue your ass, and boy, it's going to be a disaster. And then when I finally got to uh, to where I'm at now, not at my goal, but halfway there, I said, I, let, me, let me try this. This will be a great way to, pun intended, jump out of my comfort zone. So then I started thinking, well, how can I jump out of my comfort zone in 2018? What's something so ambitious, so just motivating to me? And then it came to me. Something I've been terrified of the thought of is jumping out of an airplane. Just like when I was in, I don't know, third or fourth grade, I went to a place in Virginia called Hemlock Overlook. And they have the zip line, and you're probably, I don't know, two or 300 feet in the air on a zip line. And as a kid, I was terrified. I sat on the ledge for probably 20 minutes. And I was at the point where they told me, like, hey, you need to either go down the zip line or you need to climb back down because, you know, the field trip is just about over and you need to go with your class. And I sat and I sat and I thought about it. And then I just went for it. And that sounds crazy, you know, as a third or fourth grader um, to get out of your comfort zone. Because you don't even realize you're in a comfort zone. You don't even know what a comfort zone is in grade three or four. At least I didn't. Maybe people do now. And I I just went for it. So next year, I'm going to jump out of an airplane And I'm going to do the thing where they have somebody, like, who goes with you. I know know they have. I'm going to research it further. But as far as I know, they have a thing where they have a guy that can go with you that will be, I guess, attached to you. And this person's, like, responsible for pulling the parachute at the right time and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't trust myself with that. I'd, I'd probably end up, I would probably end up dead if I was left to my own devices up there. Um, but, um, and I, I mean, I could die going up there with somebody, you know, they could, you know, something could go wrong and I could just die. Like, I don't know, but I, ne- I nearly died three years ago. Um, so at this point, I don't think I'm afraid to die anymore. I think I'm kind of over it. I'm just ready to take on the next thing. So, 2018, I'm going to jump out of a damn airplane. And uh, I'm terrified. But at the same time, I cannot wait for that moment when it finally happens. Because I know that as scared as I'll be, up in that plane as they open the door and I look down and realize that there's no going back now. The same thing very much excites me and gets me thinking, wow, this is going to be awesome. So there you have it. Five things that I hope to accomplish in 2018. I shouldn't say hope to. I will accomplish these things. The Gary Vaynerchuk thing is not a guarantee because, my God, that guy meets with so many people. But I'm going to get on his radar next year. And I'm going to try to get him. I'm going to try to get into a meeting with him. But everything else is definitely within my control. And that's, again, like, I want you guys to really think about this. I want you guys to lay out five things that you want to accomplish in 2018 that are achievable. Please don't DM me a list of shit you're not going to do. Stuff that is not possible. That you just put on a list because it looks and sounds good. And then you'll think, well, nobody's going to remember I said this. 
And if you're on Instagram, why don't you post your five things? Um, make the list. Screenshot it in Notepad on iPhone or wherever you type up your list. And post it on Instagram. Share it with the world. Especially if you're in the weight loss community and you want to keep yourself accountable, there's no better way to keep yourself accountable than by posting it to your closest hundreds or thousands of friends who now all will know about it. Because that's what I'm going to do when I promote this podcast a little later on. I'm going to screenshot this uh, note and it's going to be now public record. People are going to be able to point to it by the end of next year and say, hey, did Gary accomplish these things? Did he get where he wanted to be? Did he smash all his goals for 2018? So that's it for this week's podcast. A little bit shorter than some of the other ones, but sometimes you need a little short and sweet podcast in your life. So your homework assignment, ladies and gentlemen, is to create your five things that are achievable that you intend to do in 2018. And either post them on your Instagram or and or send them to me in a direct message at Gary Cantrell. I'm so intrigued to hear your five things. Other than that, it's going to wrap it up for this week's podcast. I appreciate you guys so much. Rather, it's your first, second, third, tenth, twentieth episode that you've listened to. Thank you. Your support means everything to me. And I'm working on a couple of cool things that I hope to share with you guys soon. One of which is a collaboration with Planet Fitness that I'm working on that I should be able to talk more about soon. I'm supposed to be signing something today. So maybe by next week's podcast I can discuss it, I hope. Um, But I'm working on a couple of collabs with some local businesses here in Virginia as it relates to my weight loss. And I'm so thrilled to um to be working with these two people um so yeah should be super exciting and i will share all the details as soon as i can just a very very quick update i am 98 pounds down overall since i started two more pounds to 100 89 more pounds to go that i need to lose to reach my goal of 185 and I'm so thrilled when I entered in 274 which is my weight this week into the my fitness pal app and it said you are 52% of your goal I was like oh my god smashing goals crushing it so thrilled um I couldn't do it without all y'all support thank you guys so much thank you so much for your support of the podcast and I'll be back next week I don't know what the show is next week. I never know, really. Um, I should probably get better about planning them out ahead of time, but sometimes things just come up and I get really inspired to do one, like this one, which was came up on the fly. Um, and then other times I have interviews. Like I do have a few more interviews in the pipeline that I'm working on, so stay tuned for those. And other than that, I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks for listening.